Don't wanna diss you, but tell me what is this bitch issue? Hi you guys, welcome back. This is going to be another mukbang seafood boil. I don't know why you guys like to see me watch the, watch me eat these, but hey, this time I got something new for you guys. I have me a lobster, yes, and I have me uh, two um, king crab legs. Yes, let me show you. I have even more up front, but this is what I have back here with me. All uh, this seafood. So this is definitely for the seafood lovers. It's like that might be my thumbnail. Yeah. Anyway, I have these. I have snow crab as well. I have my potatoes in there, and I have my broccoli. I'm hungry, so I'm just gonna dig in. I didn't even. Oh, I have my other tray right here, so I can empty my shelves. Let's get in. I want to start with the lobster. And I cook all this myself. So what you do, you pop it and you pull it out. Now this one looks like it was pregnant because it looks like this is like a row. I'm not, not sure. I'm not mistaken. It was a pregnant lobster. And that is like the, they call it a row, which is the baby eggs. Yeah, that was it. She was pregnant. Oh, well, for the eat your pregnant ass. And just tear the shell off just like you do a crawfish if you eat crawfish or just pull it out like this yeah see look she was pregnant oh my gosh look at all those baby eggs a lot of people eat them I'm not fond of them I may have some in my mouth I'm gonna put them right there I may put have some in my mouth because I'm sure I can't get all of them out because they're so tiny I have my garlic and butter sauce I made and I'm going to lean back baby and I'm going to enjoy this. Now lobster, <sighs> I'll tell you in a minute, mm. okay, lobster is a more thicker, tougher type of meat, uh, seafood more than uh, snow crab and shrimp and something like that. It's more thicker and tougher. So you better have some good tea. I don't know. Oh my god, excuse me. It's so tough. You don't know if I cook it or I go to the restaurant. It's always like that. Hmm. Oh well. I have my broccoli going on. Mm, 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 mm. I got a stock of broccoli. It's a little spicy because I did add um use Tony Creole seasoning. Yes, usually, oh, it's more eggs in there too. Excuse me. And usually you will suck the juice out the head and all that. But if you crack her open, a lot of people dip, use this for dip, but I don't. But you see all the baby eggs in there. People eat that. They don't leave nothing behind. I'm afraid to eat it. I might try it on... Um, at the end, old lobster claw. The shell is soft. I mean, it has a crunch to it, but it's not hard, you know. It's like a blue crab. And then I get to seeing people eating with their their mallets and their um. Yes, scissors. God gave us two hands, okay? Use those two hands to dig in that food here. Um, 
baby. Listen here. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Now that's what I'm talking about. You got some meat down in there. You get that other claw. This little claw right here. And you take it. And you dig all that meat up out of there. Look at that. No meat get left behind. You see that? <laughs> no meat get left behind. Yeah, baby. Let's see if this one got one. Let's get into these potatoes. Because you guys know I am a potato lover. They are seasoned so well. Mm. Got a kick of spice to it. I think wrong. And this is a good way to start your Monday out, baby. I'm going to get into this little tiny thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know I dropped it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Be sure to thumbs up and share this video, you guys. Always thumbs up and share. Hmm. Now, I can see why people use, um, use, um, scissors for the um, king crab, which is these. If you look closely, they have a bunch of spikes on them, and they actually do hurt. But if you take your time, and you pull it open, you won't get stabbed. Mm. You guys will understand. How good the seafood is today. Especially when you can eat in peace and quiet. So with this, you just pull the leg back. This is how I do it. I always get my meat out one thing at a time. Sometimes I may miss, sometimes I don't. And that's with any crab with the legs. You pull the leg back and you get all the meat. Now that one there we go. We got the whole chunk of meat out of there. Excuse me. Lord, I thank you. Mm. And be careful when you're pulling it back. Like I said, the spikes will stick you. And these shells are actually so easy to open. I don't know what you need the scissors for. I guess the scissors for not getting stuck. But baby... Look at him. Woo! Mmm. The Lord is my shepherd. He know what I want. And I want these crab. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm. I'm sorry, you guys. About it being smacking, but hey, I don't care. You know. I don't care. We ain't eating seafood. You ain't got to try to be cute. Anyway. How was everybody weekend? You guys know I went out of town. To that of the Georgia. But you see I'm trying to stay away from the potatoes right now. Cause you know they fill me up quick. 
and this boot bomb will be over. So, look at all this meat I'm finna get out of the hall. Bam. Hmm. Couldn't get it. Oh, well, I'm not gonna worry about that the video. And we dip that joke in that butter and tap it off and just devour it. And I want to, oh, excuse me. And I want to give a shout out to um another mukbanger. Matter of fact, she just did her mukbang. Mm. I love broccoli. Mm. I'm a big veggie eater. But y'all probably know mm, I am. Who I watch all the time as well. There's a lot of my watch. But it's one of them I'm actually close to. And her name's Ashley. She just did hers. Uh, she's like, I really adore her. Shout out to her. I'm going to go check out her channel called My Full Sacred Life. I like to help people if you guys don't understand. People are genuine. My God, this is just lobster right here, you guys. I'm going to eat it. Mmm. Mmm, you can't eat it like you're a dog, you know? Hmm. Yeah, take your time with that lobster hole. It'll kill you. <laughs> and I eat the red potatoes, you know. My kids are gonna have a field day with this. Hold on, let me put this leg down. Let's get some snow grab. But this lobster keep looking at me. Let me finish this out. I eat it in little pieces. That damn sauce over here I be making out, I swear. But I tell you, it's the simplest sauce. But man, God. It tastes so good. Okay, let's get to the snow crab. I think I'm going to start doing a seafood egg and miss arm because sometimes I'm just want to talk. I like talking to y'all, you know, but mm. I'm just going to eat my crab. I am broken. Oh, can you have to wonder how much the seafood color? I got other mine from um, Winn Dixie. My lobster was eight ninety nine, which was actually nine ninety nine, but you know, had a little tiny sale, so I got that. Um, the the, the king crab, these big jumbo things right here, king crab. I had probably six of them in there, five or six. 
gonna be six. That's five or six, maybe four or five. Somewhere along in there. But anyway, it was fifty six dollars. And the snow crab, which had probably eight, nine, ten clusters in there, that was like thirty eight dollars. So, y'all think about that when y'all mukbangers are doing these seafood things for y'all. They going out spending that kind of money to for eat for y'all. Least y'all can do is what? Thumbs up and share the video. down. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's get some more of this king. This king crab. Like I said with these, be careful because them tips are sharp. Like I told you, the shell is soft though. It just really limber, like loose, like. Hold on. Right, loose. Excuse me. I was trying to put stitching in my mouth. I could pull the whole thing out. Let's see, can I do it? Nope. I just broke it. Yes, yes. Look at all that. That was good. 
I enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. Did I get that other tiny piece of little lobster? Tail. I don't know if I did or did I. I probably did. No, nope, it's a little piece right here left. Y'all can hear the difference, right? Really. I wonder if they're in the meat. And these little lobster ta uh, legs. Same thing applies. You break them back. It's so like it's meat in it. Not what. But definitely meat in it. Let's get this other claw. I just broke that joker right on over. The joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me, and the world, oh, stupid shell, the world didn't give it, and the world can't take it away. That just got in my spirit for some reason. This joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me. The world didn't give it, and the world can't take it away. Look at all that meat from that cloth dripping with butter and that's the meat that was inside of the, the, the actual claw snapper so that's for anybody hmm. that's going through something and you got joy and you'll see these people trying to tear you down. Trying to throw shade. Talk bad about you slander your name, drag your name through the street. Just be like, the joy that I have. The world didn't give it to me. The world didn't give it and the world can't take it away. Meet at this claw by using a, a sharp shell from the other crab. I got a video coming up too. I want to talk about. It's a rant, not rather actually it's not a rant. It's just a real talk video about YouTubers. Especially ones who have kids. Like myself. And me and my husband were talking about this yesterday. He said, you should make a video on that because that's some real shit. I said, right. Okay. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it now, but I'm making a full video on it. But um, how these YouTubers, bigger YouTubers, are YouTubers that are making money off of YouTube, making like big coins off of YouTube. And they have children. My thing is, when we know for a full fact you're making money, making Bitcoin, okay? So, why we never see you guys, you, see you vlog your kids or whatever, blah, 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 and all this other stuff, and why, um, why we never see y'all go in the world with y'all children? You know? Why you ever see them take them, take you on, take them on trips or take them out anywhere and all the other stuff? Why you never see that? 
I mean, I make money off YouTube, but I ain't making no major coin. But still, whatever I do make, I plan a trip with my children. That's why every two to three months, I'm going somewhere with my children. So don't just be sitting around the house, be bored, and we'll never, never get a chance to see nothing. No, we're going to be doing traveling. We're going to be going places. Like, this is what, July? You know, the last trip we went in was May, which is the last day of school. They got a school, and we went st straight from the schoolhouse to out of town because all our bags were already packing the car. And we just left them up another, which was, that makes two months. So this is July, August, September. So between that time is when we'll go again, or we might just wait because, like, or wait until the complete end of the month, in the year, because you guys know in December, I'm taking my children to Disney World. We're going to celebrate Christmas in this Disney World. But for all the people that have kids on YouTube, and, and you kids recording on YouTube, and uh, or they just blogging or whatever, or whatever the case that may be, well, we'll never see y'all take y'all children anywhere. You know? Ever. If I was just a... Uh, regular thing but you never take your children anywhere hmm maybe it's just me but I just my mind fell on that yesterday on the way back from out of town people got so much negative shit to say about everybody you know whether it's good or bad who gives a fuck but I'm fat why we never see y'all uh, do that and the funny thing is people got so much to say about me which you guys know I don't care come through crap me I thought you was coming out you know guys know I don't care but at least I take care of my children and I take them places you know can't nobody check me about mine Cause mine is good. If we ain't out of town, I'm taking them somewhere to have some fun. Locally. You know? Correct me if I'm wrong, you guys. <laughs> Let me know. Just saying. My husband talk about and also some of other YouTubers talking about how YouTube subscribers. These YouTubers that's making big coin and they buying all these expensive houses and and cars. What they gonna do when YouTube um if you YouTube going to Denmark said, hmm, who knows everything gonna be re, re uh repossessed, repo. So they're not saying you're smart. Flip your business, flip the money from YouTube. Start a business for that. So if it's gone today or tomorrow, guess what? You still got your business. You know? You got your coin. Hmm. That's my thoughts. But it's a whole lot more I want to talk about with that. It's more about the kids, it's more about the houses, the cars, whatever kids there may be. So let me know your thoughts about that too. Because I just sit back and observe, you know? That's what I do. I watch. And I never see that. You know? But I see bigger YouTubers posting uh, these expensive cars and stuff, whatever. And stuff they be getting. But are you saving for tomorrow? Like, oh, well, I can spend this this month because I know my check will be fat as hell next month. What about next month never come? Just saying. Do you something to think about, boo? Huh. Huh. Yeah. 
Y'all comment below on that. I think you guys, I am full now. I'm going to separate all the shells. I think I am full now. I have so many crabs on this plate. It's ridiculous. I still got a whole full king crab over here. I have a king crab claw. Potatoes and everything. I still have more stuff up front. You know. I'm going to call my kids from there. Go tell them to get a little lunch snack. So they can tear these crabs up here and the ones in there. You know. Y'all look at the little crab raw thing. I'm going to taste it. Don't taste like nothing. Eat my last claw. And this going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I really did. You know. I'll be doing more for you guys. I love when you request videos. Oh my gosh, excuse me. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to thumbs up, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, you guys.